So we're going to show you how to get access to one of the largest third party app stores out there on the internet and we're going to show you how to use it and access it and download from it all on your fire stick all in this simple guide and it will not take too long at all before we get started though if you're brand new here remember to hit that subscribe button do check out the rest of the channel we will show you what the channel's all about later in the video but we're going to get this installed and i'm going to show you how it works so the app store actually has access to over a million apps this one is called aptoid tv um, you get access to all the apps on Aptoid, well, majority of the apps on Aptoid, and Aptoid itself has a million apps on it, over a million apps. It's the biggest third-party app store outside of Google and their app stores. It is huge, and you get lots of things in here from access to versions of YouTube, Chrome, web browsers, Netflix. Obviously, on your Fire TV device, you have a range of apps available on your Amazon app store, but obviously there's a lot of apps you can't get hold of because they would normally be on a Google Play Store or a Google App Store, okay? So you can now get these apps on here. There's even app versions of some of the top apps which are actually made for TV versions as well. Uh, TV browsers, Firefox browsers, Smart Tube, Smart YouTube TV, WhatsApp, things like this. Remember, not all applications will work on a fire stick some may be made for mobile phones things like that so do double check but when you download it if it doesn't work you can just remove it again um there's tons in here you've got obviously your new stuff in there obviously puffin tv browser is always a good one team viewer there's versions of streaming apps so you've got a few more options these are just a few of them guys okay um you can obviously go into your application sections if you wanted to just have a look at all and have a proper scroll through and there is so much in here okay so much so much so much and this app store is there and you can use it really easily what i'm going to show you um, i'm going to uninstall it then i'm going to show you how to install it and set it up so it works completely okay so let me just uninstall this now okay so first things before we install this for you hit that like underneath hit that subscribe button and we will get it for you now so what you're going to do you're going to go to your magnifying glass you're going to type in here downloader d-o-w Go down, click on Downloader, and install this application, but do not open it yet. So get it installed, and do not open it. While yours is installing, if you need to, you can pause this video you're watching. Then, from your home screen, we need to go and find that Downloader app in a minute. But first, we need to make sure it's set up so you can use it how you want to use it, okay? So you go to your settings, you go to My Fire TV, you click on developer options if you do not have developer options there's a video underneath which shows you how to get the developer options okay click on developer options turn adb debugging on and on install unknown apps turn it on for downloader if you have only an older version where all you can do is turn install unknown apps on or off just turn it on brilliant now you're going to push your home button you're going to go across to these three squares in the plus, go to my apps, and in here you need to find that downloader app we just installed. It's a nice orange um, icon with downloader written on it, so it's quite simple to find. You're going to click that, and it will load up. As it loads up, you must accept the permission. The permission is to access your files and storage. That's how this application downloads applications onto your Fire Stick or Fire TV. Then enter a URL or search term, type in here 75726, 75726, you can then hit go and that will take you to my website. That code is underneath, um, the code's underneath and the full URL is underneath as well, which is docsquiffy.com forward slash downloads. You can test that on your mobile phone underneath as well if you want to. We're then going to scroll down. And you're going to click on, under App Stores, we have Aptoid TV APK. You click that. And you scroll down again, and you click on the Download button. Okay? If any ads pop up, just close them down. And that's that. You can then click on Install. Click on Done. And then click on Delete. And Delete. So we go back to home, we go back to our device, and we're going to go and find what we've just installed. So again, from your home screen, you go across to the three squares and the plus, my apps, 
and at the bottom here you will see Aptoid. You can click it. It will open up for you. Click OK. Allow again, it needs storage to your media files on your device. And then you can start browsing through. It will also show you the apps which you have stored on your own device. These are ones you've already got installed under My Apps. It has a few settings, view account and settings. Uh, community, you can actually upload apps if you want to, which is quite a good touch if you want to take something off your Fire Stick. Categories and Discover. Okay, nice and Discover. But you can obviously search if you want to. Um, you can allow the microphone. So if there was a certain thing you were looking for, um, I don't know, maybe MX Player. Type in MX Player, click Next. And there we go, you've got MX Player in there or MX Player for your TV as well. Many other TV players, you could just write in TV if you wanted to see what comes up. The thing is, when you download something, you need to turn on so you can install it again for your device. So on MX Player TV, for instance, if you click on Install, it's going to tell you you need to change those settings again. So you click Settings, Install Unknown Apps, turn it on for Aptoid. As you go back, you'll then be able to download with no problem. Okay, It's the same as before. So you can find one you want to download and download it without any issues. Again, if you wanted to install a version of Chrome, install, install, app installed, done. And there we go. And then from here, you can either open it or uninstall it, or it'll be stored in your normal apps on your device as well. We can uninstall that one and it's done again. Brilliant. Hope you like that one. As you'll see from the internet, as I was talking about earlier, there's over a million apps in Aptoid. It's huge, okay? You know, it's an official app, it's legal. All users have alternative options to discover. They don't just have to use Google Play Store. Um, you're allowed to use any app store. You don't have to just use Android App Store. People are allowed to have other app stores. So that's all there for you as well. Obviously, when you're searching the internet, when you're on your Fire Stick, you should use a VPN. If you're after a VPN underneath, I will link IP Vanish VPN for you as well. All linked underneath this will keep you safe online will help with your downloads will help with if you've got any apps you download which are geo locked check them all out get that underneath as well that's linked underneath for you brilliant my channel is here like i say there's many different ways of setting up a fire stick all there for you as well so hit that thumbs up hit that share hit that subscribe and i'll see you on the next one